Our next step is to configure in syslog server. So we're gonna integrate our syslog server with CyberArk, basically just forwarding syslogs to the, your syslog server. Okay, let's log into our Vault server. Let's go to our private Arc installation folder. We are configuring the settings on the server side, and there's a syslog folder here. There's an arcsite.sample.xl file. Make a copy. Change it to arcsite.xl file. And then we're going to go to configuration folder. Open dbpalm.sample. Let's open it first. The syslog settings. Can I copy all things here? And uh, paste it to our dbpan.ini file. So you see syslog settings. We can change it to list. And we're gonna change the server name to our syslog server, which is our ID server. 192.168.2.11. Save the configuration, close it. And for this setting to work, we need to restart the service. So we're going to find out the private, private ARC server service and restart it with it. That will take our configuration changes into effect. And even the notification engine gonna be stopped as well. You need to manually start that engine service as well. Once the private arc server is up. Um, that means our settings, there's something wrong there. I'll take a look at the configuration. DB palm .ini file here. So this log configuration. That's why. So our syslog is pro arc site product XSL file. P can remove this part. Okay, now oh, let's give it a try. Now it seems uh, it's working. Um, and also, yeah, it's up and running now, the server. At the same time, they're gonna bring our syslog server to here. This is our Windows AD server. 192.16.2.11 and I'm going to make sure our cyberarc event notification engine is also up and running. So right now we haven't received anything because we didn't define our source. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to define a source for our Vault server. UDP 514 and input. Now we receive the logs now. This log has been forwarded over. It's coming from 192.16.2.21. It's a debug log. You can try to log in and generate in more logs. As you can see, there's more logs coming 
the next step is we're gonna go into do NTP integration. Um, since our usually your vault server is not uh, in the domain, then you have to configure your vault server to sync with the NTP server. What we can do setting up NTP server is using the configuration file, C driver, C drive program files, private arc, server, um, and we can add the DB palm .ini file. You can find the NTP section. If there's no NTP section, then we can just quickly add it in. And dot zero. Now we our server is one nine two one six eight dot two dot eleven. Yes. NTP port one two three outbound UTP two three inbound UTP. That's the only configuration you need. Save same thing to make this change effect. You have to reboot your private ARC server service. It will check your configuration settings. If they found anything error message, it won't start with it. It will stop cyber ARC event notification and service first, and then restart your private ARC server service. And then start with your both service in order. So right now the time is 122, which we can compare with our DC server time, 123. So we can make a change the time. Can change it to like um, two o'clock. Time sync can be done. You see, we need to enable Windows Time Service. We need to change it to automatic. Delay and then start the service. Apply. You want you also can change your special time screw settings in uh, registry. That will prevent the large changes to the system time all at once. The special time skill will force NTP service to change every 30 minutes for the first recheck and then every eight hours. This will prevent triggering anti-tempering protection in the vault that could be activated by creating new audit entries that occur before existing audit entries. So basically go to HK local machine system, current control set, services, Win32 time. Parameters. You can add it new. T dot. Name it as period.
and we can close it. After that, we can force assistant to do a quick time sync. As you can see, once we issue a command, the time has been synced right away. That's basically the configuration settings for NTP and others. So we did the LDAP, we did the SMTP, we did the syslog, we did NTP. That should cover most basic system configuration for CyberArk. Thank you for watching.